So let's get to our next guest. He has said oil can go as high as $600 a barrel. So does yesterday's move change his mind at all? Matt Simmons is CEO of Simmons & Company and a former energy advisor to President Bush. He joins us on the phone from Rockport, Maine. Uh, Matt, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing okay. Oil, you know, dropping back a bunch uh, yesterday. Big hit yesterday. Um, does that change your view in terms of the uh, long-term view on oil oh, at this point? Heavens no. I mean, it, it's the, uh, uh, what I've found interesting in the, in the, just watching the path of oil as it's gone up 13, 14 fold over the last decade is that the rises are always deemed to be abnormal and mm -hmm. the collapses are always deemed to be who finally we've peaked. All right, let's get back to oil. You know, Matt, what about the price action or the tail of the tape, so to speak, when it comes to oil? Uh, Julie mentioned this, I think, earlier. The Amex oil index down 17 percent from its May 20th high. Um, some market watchers would argue the equities move before the underlying commodity. So are oil company stocks telling us the rally in oil is possibly over? Well, I, I, think, I think probably two-thirds or three-quarters or maybe 90% of the people that follow oil are absolutely convinced that the prices have now peaked, there's a bubble, it's all speculators and so forth. My guess is that the speculators are all short. Hmm. And, and if you basically force the speculators out, you get a rise of 10 or $20 a barrel in the price of oil. But hmm. that's just my guess. But what's also interesting is we have another phenomenon going on. More and more people are coming to understand that the major oil companies as a group are basically in liquidation. Mm -hmm. and, and as a result, they're probably the, the one place you don't want to own equities, in the, if, even if you believe that we're headed to $200 or even ultimately $600 a barrel, which is a number I just sort of made up. To, but I think that's, 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 a, that's far more likely than going back to 50. Why is it far more likely? And, and you, know, you say 600, you throw out that number, but in what time frame? Well, in, in somewhere, somewhere between six months and five years. Okay. Uh, all right. But it, could, but it literally could be as, as quickly as six months, and it could, it could take five years. But, but the idea that it's going to go back to 50 or 60 or 70, uh, you really need to dial in a massive global depression to get to that number because su the supply is not growing. Supply is not growing. What and, about, and, though, and within those six years, could we see some significant changes in energy policy or not likely? Well, you can see a lot of changes, but none of them would actually have any, have any impact on the market. So there's another theory that, that, that the expectation, I mean, when, when President Bush uh, did his presidential decree and opened up the Outer, outer Continental Shelf, which mm -hmm. still has to be followed with Congress, there was, a, there was a sense the expectations of that would lower prices. The expectations, realistically, is that five, 15 to 20 years from now, we might have a little bit more oil coming out. All right, so bottom line, this drop yesterday doesn't bother you. So, no. you, so, give, me, so give me an outlook at least for the next, let, let's narrow it, three to six months. Well, what we have to worry about is we have unbelievably tight supplies, abusable mm -hmm. supplies. Uh, we have a lot of gasoline stations that are now closing because they can't afford to be in the business. And, mm -hmm. and you, know, there's, you know, the fact is maybe, maybe three or four percent of gasoline demand is down, but, but if we've lost 10 okay. percent of our stations, we're going to have some really tight markets. All right, Matt, going to leave it on that note. Thanks so much for your time this morning, Matt Simmons.